Let's go to the shop and get on with the block. Come a little closer. I want to dance with you. Everything's moving slower. I don't know what it is you do. I've been looking at you all night trying to figure you out. I just want to make you smile. Hold your hand in my hand looking at the sunset. Man, you're looking good tonight. I want to kiss you before the sun goes down. It's what you do. Oh no, what happened? <laughs> Journey, who said that? Who said that? Good morning everyone and welcome to the Rock Hey guys, so we're at Walmart. Hey guys, so we're at Walmart and I need foundation and the kind I use is this one, which they don't have any of. What are we going to do, Jern? What are we going to do? Hi. You say hi? How are you? <laughs> so you're just not going to say nothing? You say hi? You can say hi. She said, uh-uh, I don't know her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you put it down so I can walk across it? <laughs> Hey guys, it is 10, oh gosh, it is 11, 18. I am working away. Um, I had a really, really bad migraine headache today. Um, it, it started, it started with just a headache, like um, this morning I just had like a little bit of a headache. And as the day progressed, it just got worse and worse and worse and worse and worse and then to the point where you just feel absolutely just awful like you just you're you just want to close your eyes you feel like throwing it up you just feel awful um I haven't had one in quite like some time but I did have some Excedrin migraine and I did take that well first I was like I'm just gonna take ibuprofen and then ibuprofen did not even touch it didn't phase it didn't do nothing and so probably an hour after I took the ibuprofen Actually, it's a little more than an hour. I think I took the ibuprofen like at 4. I think it was like around 5.30. Um, no, it was 6. On 6, because my husband was home, I took the Excedrin migraine. But I just took one, because I was like, well, I'll just, you know, I didn't want to be all full. Because normally when I take it, it makes me feel funny, and I still feel funny, and I'm kind of like shaky, <laughs> kind of because of caffeine that's in it. But anyway, so it's like, I don't... I just I feel out of it and then um, so I'm trying to get some work done and I'm not really not really doing too good but it's like I just had somebody complaining I mean they were they were nice but it still hurt my feelings um, but they still were complaining they were like you know like I received it blah 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 looks good stitching looks good wish it was more vibrant I thought I asked for this I'm like um they technically did not ask for that um I mean everything's right here anyway it's just I think it's 
uh, it's honestly it's probably just my day <laughs> it's just my day and just having you know went through just having an awful awful migraine headache where I thought it was dying <laughs> and oh then you know I feel okay right now like I don't have a headache like whatsoever but I I feel like I'm just drained and like I would rather just go to sleep I would but I can't I gotta work on orders I got too many people that need their crap I'm sorry I didn't I shouldn't say crap their stuff but then you know when you hear like like you don't ever really hear from the people who are happy now I have heard from a couple but um you know in I was telling my husband that, you know, when you look at reviews on stuff, you're not looking for the good reviews. You technically are looking for the bad reviews because you want to make sure that, you know, nothing is bad. But anyway, it just really got to me. It didn't make me cry, but it almost made me cry. It just made me, you know, when you just get that, like, feeling. I got to, like, you, you don't know if you're mad or if you're sad. I think I was both. <laughs> it's like, you know, what... What more, I don't, what more do you want? I mean, if, if I ordered, because I have ordered from people, I ordered this shirt, and I might have mentioned this before, and I don't know if I did, and it was somebody that was on Facebook, and I used to order a lot of shirts from her. This is before I did embroidery, and this is for Sterling. I might have a picture. If I find the picture, I'll insert it. Did she wear it? I think she did wear it. But it, I ordered, um, I had a candy corn skirt for Sterling, um, with candy corns on it. And so I ordered her a shirt that said, my candy corn cutie or something. Candy corn cutie, I think it was. Um, and when I got it, like, the yellow in it was almost kind of like green. It was a, it wasn't, it was like a really super, like, light yellow that it was almost to the point of being kind of like a green color. And so it didn't match the skirt at all. I wasn't very happy, you know, that it didn't match because I even sent her a picture of the skirt and I said, you know, I want to order this shirt because I think it would look cute with this skirt and I told her, you know, what I was going for. Um... And I got it, and it wasn't the same. And I didn't contact her and tell her it. I wasn't happy because I knew, you know, she made it, and she took time to make it, and it took time to, you know, create it. I did pay for her, for it, you know what I mean? So, um, it's just, you know, I just kept it, and I think Starly wore it once, and that was it. But, you know, I think that... It just goes to like, you know, when you know how much work and time it goes into this. And then she was like, the colors weren't as vibrant. Um, I went with Madeira colors on them because they are the brightest ones that I own. And she wanted blue turquoise and then purple. And these are the Madeira. And this, I mean, I don't have anything else that's vibrant. Oh, I to me, these are pretty vibrant colors. I mean, and I think I did show a picture of it somewhere. But anyway, it's just, it's just one of those things. And I'm not going to let it get to me. And I just, I think talking to y'all, even though I can't hear you guys, <laughs> I think it, you know, kind of gets it off your chest a little bit. Makes you just, and yeah. So anyway, I gotta get back to work. I gotta invert these out. It's getting late. I'd rather go to bed. And I still gotta finish up a couple more after this. So Hi guys. We're putting we're putting up Jenny's new swing. So that's what's going on. Journey, come here. Okay. Journey, come here. Okay, guys. Um, I'm gonna put you guys 
Right here. This is her first swing ever. Ready? Wee! Wee! Hold on, she's kind of nervous. She's like, ah, oh, what is going on? I don't know if she knows what to make of it. There you go. Hold on, Star, not too fast. She's never oh, done it before. Like, it might be tickling her belly. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah stop, stop her. her. Do it real small, real slow. Hey, do I got as much crap in my hair as Sterling does? <laughs> Whee! Hey, these uh, these little tiles aren't tied off. They're, they're just rotted, so don't get to swing it because it may come up. Whee! I'm, let me rephrase that. You may flip over. Yeah, don't don't get to swing it hard. That right there must be just thrown away. Even the thing. Hey, we'll keep those little things on it. Those little hooks. Oh, yeah. I'm just going to throw it over here. Is that fun? Whee! And I could put a swing right there. <laughs> Journey. Journey. Wee. Had these right here, yeah. um, but they were yellow. But I think it was a soft seat, not the hard seat. Wee. Dad, like yeah. bucks, you know, if you actually, well, I was gonna say if you, you could actually get rid of the swing set, probably hang. Look, you could probably hang a swing off of that one. I can't run a chainsaw. I've never run a chainsaw. I'll probably get one when I was little, but I'm too scared of them. But see if we had something up here and I can get Brian to cut some of this stuff. Because I'd like to take care of Look, look, look. You put swing right here, you put swing right there. Two of those things right here. Can you pull this over? Yeah, I tried to break it off. Watch you break it. <laughs> Whee! Ah! Mommy, I had a spider. Hunt. I saw it. It dropped. It did? Yeah. You smacked it and it dropped it's down. It's on your pant leg. Ah! My armpits are itchy. <laughs> 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 Do you ever get so scared your armpits get itchy? I don't know, probably. It's, I think that's the sweat pouring out. That's whenever it's starting to like warm up to the sweat. Oh, look at all the trees. Let's see, I gotta do something with this. Exactly. Right, I gotta that table? You could yeah. pressure wash it. Journey will have fun. You gotta get a pressure wash. Can we get her sandbox? Can we buy her sandbox? A litter box? Fun. It's gonna be a fun summer. Journey gets to experience stuff. What if I put them put them slides on that front right there? On the deck? Oh be careful, Sterling. That thing's cracking. <laughs> we probably that'd be fun. I think we just opened up a big can of worms. Instead of bubbles, you're gonna hear swing now. <laughs> Every time she says bubbles, bubbles. She don't have to swing. That's good. She don't have to go this way right there. 
you look tired. tired. Is it your mother? Whee! How are we going to build our deck? Maybe we could have a flower and then we have a big gigantic pool so that we could all have fun. You want out? You done? I'm going to jump. Ready? Are you done now? Huh? Done? Okay guys, I just like went to see what my mom was talking about. <laughs> she said, let's go to Michigan. She called up my dad and she was like, let's go to Michigan. And I just, you know, checked. But now I'll give you a review if you should get a beta fish or not. So, so if you want to get a beta fish, then I recommend getting one. So, there's all different types of bait, but I'm going to start it. This is a bait review if you would like to get a bait fish. Okay, let's get started. So, if you want to fish, a bait fish is a really easy fish to take care of. And all you need is like a tank, a fish, and some pellets and food, pebbles. So, if you want a bait fish, they're really easy to take care of. You just have to do water, like change your water once a week. Or if you have a filter, but you don't want a strong filter because it could suck them up. Kill them. So, you'll want water treatment, food, and pellets. So, you know. Hey guys! It is 7.05, so it's actually quite late. Put my purse down somewhere. Where did I put it? I want to come. I came in to get my camera because I had my purse. Maybe I put my purse up here. Yeah, it's up here. But 7.05. We are in desperate need of some new mattresses so we are going to go out and look for some oh, 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 oh. and yeah and then i gotta get home and get some work done so ready guys ready ready guys let's go bye bye jern you want to go bye bye Get on this, sir, because it's going to be a, going to be a struggle. I'm going to Y'all just play. <laughs> trying to sell us a mattress <laughs> we tried them all um man i printed off a bunch of these and i left them upstairs and oh i left this my heat press up there too darn it i'll have to go back upstairs um so it is now after 10 o'clock 10 30 and i'm just getting downstairs um we actually had to um do a few things. I wanted to order the girls' Easter dresses. Um, every time we get a little income tax money back that, you know, I order their Easter dresses out of tax money because, you know, come on now. Oh my gosh, there's a big spider in the corner. I think I'm going to die. <laughs> I hate spiders with passion I have an arachnophobia I do not like spiders whatsoever um you know anything else like lizards snakes you know they're, they're okay I just I don't care for them I don't like them but I don't have no fear towards them like I don't have a phobia like I don't want them on me I don't want to I don't think they're cute or anything like that I just don't you know but spiders um ugh, it's just ugh. <laughs> and I keep looking at him. He's quite ugly. I hope it's not a poisonous spider. Anyway, um, 
So I went ahead and I ordered, I usually order like their Easter dresses and well, I usually order Sterling's Easter dress, but now we've got two, so I have to order two Easter dresses, and um, Sterling likes to match, and at Children's Place, I can get a lot of matching things for both of them, and that's what Sterling really likes, because they go up to size 16. Sterling's like a 14, 16, but I think she's leaning towards, or she's growing towards getting out of like the 14 slash 16 so it's like mainly like 16s um I was telling my husband I was like you know she's gonna be bigger and she's not gonna be able to find clothes that fit her like her personality and her in that size because she'll have to go to like juniors or something and you know they don't have like unicorn shirts and you know little her mentality is still you know uh, of a little girl because she is a little girl she's only 12 so um it's just hard to find things that she's still into like you know I hope I'm making sense she still likes toys she like still likes to play with dolls she still likes you know all of that stuff she's not into like boys and makeup and music and not that that is like a bad thing I'm not talking like it's a bad thing but I'm talking of the way Sterling is um anyway so on children's place I was able to get them I got them a few matching things um I wish they would have had matching swimsuits because I thought that would have been Great. They actually did. I could have got Sterling one that matches Journeys. Um, I went with a tankini like for Journey because I figured it'd be easier like if she has to have a diaper change that we just have to pull off the bottoms and then her swim diaper or whatever that's underneath. And we won't have to worry about, you know, pulling the whole swimsuit off. Um, but the one that matched it was like one that had the straps and then it had the little off the shoulder like one like this. So it had both. But I don't know if that's something that Sterling would actually like or feel comfortable wearing because she's very modest. So um, they did have a really cute one piece and I think she'll like it, the one I picked out. I didn't show her anything that I picked out so it's all going to be a surprise when she gets it. Um, they're matching Easter dresses. I was like a toss up between three actually that I really liked. There was a blue one, a yellow one, and a pink one. I was leaning towards more towards the blue one just because blue is my favorite color and then I was telling my, you know I told my husband to pick one because I thought you know if I was to pick I'd pick the blue and then he picked either the yellow or the blue because there was a yellow and a blue one and a pink one and so I was like yeah that's you know that's kind of like where I was as well it's like the yellow or the blue one but after all said and done I went with the pink I still actually liked the pink and then where I looked at the pink I was like yeah I could totally see you guys wearing that so um I got those. I got their dresses. I got Sterling some white shoes to go with her Easter dress because I picked Journey some up at Burlington. Um, it's hard to find shoes in Journey size that have the hard sole because her feet are still so small. Um, she, her feet are like a size. She can still fit into size two. So baby sizes are like zero, which is newborn. Then it goes up to one. It's kind of like three to six. And then it goes up to size two which I think is more like around the six month to nine month. And then it goes up to three and then it goes up, you know, so basically it just depends, you know, some babies have bigger feet than others, but journey just has like really small feet and they don't seem to grow very fast because <laughs> she has had the same little silver sneakers with the pink since like November. I think I got them for her in November. So four months ago, I got them for her. Anyway, she can still fit them. They were just getting a little snug, so I went and got her another pair. And then she has her Batmans as well. But um, I found her a black pair in size 3 when we went to Charleston. We stopped at a shoe store on the way. And I found a pair of hard sole black shoes in size 3 um, that fit her. They're a little bit big, but you know, for the most part, she can wear them, and that's what she's worn the past couple Sundays to church. Um, so then these ones I found at Burlington, and they have the hard sole, and they're size two, and they're white. 
but I think their size two is more like a size three. I think their sizing is a little bit off because the size two says, um, she tried it on, she fits it perfectly fine. So I think they're probably more size three. So I think her feet are probably between a size two and three right now. Um, and then I did find another pair that said size four on them. I picked those up as well because I figured, you know, they were $5.99 or something. I'm like, she can wear them, you know, come this fall or all throughout the summer or whatever with her church dresses. And then, um, there was a pink pair and those were set size four too, but I think they're probably more like a size five. They feel a little big on her, like really big on her. So they're not as big as the other size four. I mean, they're bigger than the other size four, but they're different brands. So, um, anyway, all that being said, I ordered them clothes. I ordered still some like three outfits. Spotter's still looking at me. I think I ordered her three outfits. Got them both swimsuits and dresses. And then um, we went ahead and just ordered one of those memory foam mattresses off Amazon. Um, our cousin Julie bought them for her bed. So we were talking to her about them. And she said, yeah, you know, they're nice mattresses. She recommends them. So we went ahead and ordered one for Sterling's full. Now Sterling sleeps on bunk beds and there is a twin on top and a full on bottom. But she wants to start sleeping on the bottom bunk, which is a full. So that's what we got. And once that comes in, we're going to try that on her bed. See if we actually like it. And if we do, then we are going to order one for our bed. Our bed is a queen. So we'll see. We'll see how that all goes. So my husband wants to take care of that. Um... As you guys know, we go to Michigan every year, and so we were trying to decide, because I like to go in the spring. Um, we used to always just go in the spring because that's when the kids were out of school, but then it just became like something that we did and we look forward to, and it's every spring, and you know, during the summer we have peaches, so we can't go in the summer. So if we go right before peaches, it's usually good, or we could go after peaches, which is in September, and we have done that before too. But... Um, yeah, I just don't want to wait that long to see everybody because, come on, I'm homesick. I miss them. I want to go home. I would like to go home right now. I just want to go hug my mama, see my daddy, hug my daddy, see all my, you know, family and my sisters and my brothers and, yeah. So, anyway, um, we were planning to go back and we were trying to, to book the same condo. The same condo is actually owned by somebody else now. We can still book it. But one of the days that we want it for, it's not available. So we're like, okay. There is another condo, same place, same pool, same everything. But in it's by the actual guy that we rented for the other condo for, from. So, and it was around the same price we paid last time. So, um, we're trying to see who's all going, if Nathan and Cora are going, if Evan's going. We know Evan's probably going, but we're trying to get everybody, trying to get all our ducks in a row so we can say, okay, this is when we are going to go on vacation. This is when we're going to go to Michigan. But So that's what we're trying to take care of tonight. But now I need to get to work because there are so many orders this girl's got to get done. 